Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode, we were at Fisherman's Horizon, and Galbadians invaded, and we realized the BGH-251F2 from the missile base survived. We took it down, and inside of it was Selfie, Renault, and Irvine. They survived the missile base explosion, and now they're back here with us at Garden. Also, the technicians from FH are now helping us fix the garden. And also, we have a date with the Master Fisherman later. He's going to give us a lecture, apparently. Also, we talked to this kid, and now we're talking to this lady. We talked to this lady at the cafeteria who talks about her son leaving on a journey. So, that's interesting. Anyways, um, so last episode I told you about the guy I fought for the, all the Elmo cards to grind for Squall's ultimate weapon. So now what we're going to do is we are going to utilize that stuff. So what we have to do is go to Ability and Card Mod. And we are going to mod our... Where is it? 20 Elnoil cards. Yeah, so in the process, I also, when I Elnoil cards weren't an option, I took other good cards like Ruby Dragons and Marlboros and also um, Iron Giants from the guy because those can be um, refined into good stuff. Marlboros can be refined into Marble Tentacles, which we will need later. Ruby Dragons and Inferno Fangs are always useful. Um, Iron Giant refines into Star Fragments. Blue Dragon is Fury Fragments. Adamantois is Turtle Shell. Elvor gives you death stones, just all around good stuff. But anyway, Elnoil, 10 refined into one energy crystal. Now we're going to need two energy crystals. This is the reason we got 20 Elnoil cards. So we're going to refine all 20 of these and no longer have any Elnoil cards. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Ammo Refine. That's why you need to learn this ability to get Squall's final weapon. And out of the energy crystals, you will be able to refine 10 pulse ammo. Now for Squall's ultimate weapon, we need 12 pulse ammo. So it's a little overkill here, we're going to have 20, but we can use the rest as Irvine's weapon to actually, you know, limit attack people and stuff, so. Um, Pulse Ammo is his best ammo, by the way, that's why it's so hard to get. Now there is another thing you can mod to get 5 Pulse Ammo, um, but this is just the easiest way. So we're going to do this and get 20 Pulse Ammo. So now because of this, we have everything we need to make Squall's ultimate weapon. Um, which I think, let me just double check here what everything you need is. It says at the beginning here, for Squall, no, Squall's the first character, duh. Squall, alright, yes, for his final weapon you will need 12 pulse ammo, 4 dragon fangs, and 1 adamantine. <clears throat> 12 pulse ammo we just got, and as you remember, the dragon fangs are the things we got on our way to Galbali Garden in that forest. Remember when I was hugging the mountain wall and, uh, I said we had to be under level 20 to fight those Grendels, which drop Dragon Fangs if you're under level 20. Well, boom. We have five of those, so that covers that. And then, of course, the one Adamantine. Now, what you could do is wait till you get to this point in the game and just use the one you mugged off of uh, BGH251F2. Or if you w don't want to wait, you can refine a... Or you can card mod. Sorry. You can card mod... What is it? Here we go. Minotaur. He refines into 10 Adamantines. Now, Adamantines are really good. As you saw, you can teach a GF Vitality plus 60% with that. That's really good. But um, once you refine the Minotaur card, there's no getting it back. So I kind of wanted to hold off on that. Would you? We just wait until we got the Adamantine here for it. So now we have all the stuff to do that. So we're going to do that a little later. Anyways, here we are. We're already here at the garden near the quad. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Selfie here to try and cheer her up on the way here. Now, if this messes up anything... Like, um, being able to talk to the Master Fisherman at the inn or somebody else I want to talk to in FH, then I'm going to... This isn't going to be an episode. This is going to go kaput. Because all that stuff I still want to do. Because this advances the storyline, so to speak. The main storyline, so... Um, I don't know if that kills my chances with Master Fisherman and all that, but I hope it doesn't. That way it'll just work out perfectly. So let's go talk to Selfie. See if we can cheer her up or not. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, man, this place got tore up from the garden crashing. Oh, Selfie, I'm so sorry. Whew, this is so bad. Yeah, it's been crazy with the garden moving and crashing into FH. A lot's happened. You know, I really wanted to see a band perform on this stage. I even had my eyes set on a few people, too. Oh, well. She's really down. Alright, so do I try to cheer her up or do I let Irvine do it? Hmm. Well, it's not like me to try and cheer people up, but I'll do it. Come on, I'm sure you can still do something. Squall, 
being sensitive? That's weird. You're the last person I expected to cheer me up. I must really look depressed. <laughs> What's so weird? I care just like everybody else. It's just that there aren't too many things that can't be helped. So why bother talking about everything? Uh-oh, there you go again into your own little world, and you're not going to share anything, huh? Yeah, whatever. Why is she teasing me? I was just trying to help. Yeah! Well, I think I'm feeling better. Don't worry about me, Squall. Irvine, you help her. I'm out of here. Alrighty! <laughs> Squall, this is the Headmaster speaking. Please come to my office. What now? Alright, you guys have fun. I guess there's no point feeling blue. That's right, let's get the fun started. Fun? What fun? I'm so brilliant. <laughs> so like, first, we'll ask the FH technicians if they can fix the stage. If they can fix the garden, this should be a piece of cake for them. Hmm, do you think they'll do it? Don't worry, I'll back you, I'm sure they'll do it. Hey, that means... Yup, you can have your band perform on the stage. Woohoo! Alright, let's get the show on the road. Score, baby, I'm all set to make my move. Oh, Irvine, you and your master plans. Anyway, so the headmaster wants to talk to us. That about covers my report, sir. I see. I also heard a report from Selfie just a moment ago. She said the diary is open to everyone to see. Maybe you should have a look. Oh, and one more thing. It appeared that the Galbadians were searching for Elon. That seemed to be their main objective in FH. I believe that Sorcery CD is behind all this. Ellen has the ability to allow people to experience the past. Maybe the sorceress is after her for this ability. What other reason could there be? Oh, that's true. I mean, she does have that ability. That's pretty crazy. That's a good thing to have. So now the Galbadians are working for the sorceress, and we're searching for Ellen in FH. And regardless of whether they found her or not, they had orders to burn the city down. That would help reduce the number of potential places where she could hide. Exactly. Most likely, the sorceress will not stop this onslaught until Ellen is found. She will continue to hunt her and burn everything in her path. We can't wait any longer. So he's finally going official. About time. Announcement time! This is Headmaster Sid. I have an announcement to make. Oh shit. I have important news that I must share with all of you. The garden is being repaired right now. We'll leave FH immediately after it's finished. We're going on a journey. A journey, you say? What kind of journey? Sells in line for hot dogs. This is a journey to defeat the sorceress. Garden will now be used as a mobile base. The administration of Garden will be run by myself and the staff, as usual. Oh, poor Zelly doesn't get his hot dogs. Again! This journey will involve many battles. A well-qualified leader is needed for this. Oh yeah, you're our leader, dude. Therefore, I am appointing Squall as your new leader. What? Me? What am I going to do? I'm not a leader. From now on, Squall will be the leader. He will decide our destination and battle plan. Are you serious? Everyone, please follow his orders. I can't believe this. If there are any objections, please come see me in person. I don't even have a choice? Squall, we're under your command from now on. Oh, face palm. This is your fate. It is your destiny to lead the way in defeating the sorceress. How do you know that? The missiles are on the way! Don't talk about this like it's been decided since my birth. You tell that asshole. I don't mind fighting the sorceress. It's unavoidable as long as I'm a seed member. What? As long as I'm a seed member? What if I quit? Quit. Then what? What do I have left? Don't even want to think about it. Just stop thinking. Just stop thinking. What a good plan. I'll just have to do as I was told, command the garden and kill the sorceress. How does Headmaster Sid expect me to take care of everyone? It'd be best to go fight the sorceress soon and end this nonsense. But isn't she the Headmaster's wife? He wants us to kill his wife? Ugh. 
What does it feel like to give an order like that? <laughs> I never really thought about that, actually. That's... Hey, everyone. Here's our producer, Selfie. Uh-huh. We'll be holding the concert as planned. The performance isn't just for us, though. It's also for Squall, you know, to congratulate him on his recent promotion. Sounds fun. So, who's gonna perform? We are. Yeah, right. You're kidding. Oh, no way. You can't count me out. I have no musical aptitude. Oh, really? I gotta see this. Let's just give it a try. We have everything ready, and all we need is four people. This is gonna be fun! Oh, sorry, Renault, but you're not gonna be a member. You're leaving me out? Uh-huh, we have something more important for you to do. So, what are we gonna do? I mean, basically, we're all amateurs, right? Even if you hand us instruments, we won't be able to do anything. True that. First, I wanna ask you guys something. Okay, you know I took over this event after I transferred to Balam, right? I have the composition that the last producer recommended to me, but everything got all messed up after the garden started moving. There's supposed to be only four scores that go with the composition, but I got eight scores here. What does that mean? It's pretty simple. Four of the scores from a different composition got mixed up with the four scores that Selfie had. So we have to find four original scores to perform the composition that Selfie has. Only way we're going to find them is to play all eight scores and see. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I want to give you guys to pick up an instrument, one person at a time, and play it. Irvine knows the composition, so he'll choose which four are the right ones. Let's get started. Alright, so how this works basically is we're setting up this concert for Selfie. It's, you know, a neat little side quest here or whatever. Now, I'm pretty sure this advances the storyline, so this there might be a chance that we're not even going to air this episode. But let's just say this. So the eight scores, basically there's two different... Um, types of dances you can get going on here there are two types there are irish jig and slow dance now by assigning people with these certain instruments you can get these desired effects you can also just give them random instruments and make some random thing that probably won't sound good so what i like to do is the irish jig the irish jig sounds a little cool so what you do is you're playing the role of irvine who gets to pick the score so you get to play what each person's gonna play they can test it out and you pick yes or no so for the irish jig we're gonna have zell play the guitar because he's a badass rocker, dude. I mean, come on. How could you not give Zelda the guitar? Here he goes. And he's playing the acoustic, and he's doing it quite well. So, at any moment, you can get up, talk to everybody if you want. Or you could just talk to Zell. How's this? Alright, so, sounds good. So, Zell will play the guitar. Now, what is Irvine going to play? Now, we are going to have Irvine do... Um... We're gonna, you could, you don't have to do it in any order, you just have to pick the four specific instruments. So, the remaining instruments we have left are violin, flute, and tap, but Irvine just looks so hilarious doing tap dance that I'm gonna have to give him tap dance. Because he just looks so funny doing it, check this out. <laughs> Look at that shit with his stupid long trench coat in his hat. He looks so hilarious. How does this sound? Alright, Irvine, you're the master of the tap, the master of the feet. Alright, and Selfie, we will have her play the violin. And then we're going to have Quistus play the flute. And that's going to be our Irish jig. Now, if you want to do slow dance, you just have to do sax, electric guitar, piano, and bass guitar. Look at Selfie rocking out. It still doesn't really explain how these guys are able to play the instruments, but um, whatever, I guess they just learned. All right, and Quistus is going to play the flute. And once they're all together, it will make the Irish jig. Like I said, you can pick any four instruments you want, and it'll make some random combination, but probably won't sound fluent unless you pick one of the scores. Yep, sounds good. All right, so we've picked our four instruments for the concert. Okay, we have until tonight to practice for the performance. All right. Renoa, that's when you're up. You can count on me. It's going to be a blast. All right, what is Renoa doing? What's the plan here, folks? Am I missing something? I'm bored. What's everybody doing? All right, so I'm going to save over a thing here. Um, I'm going to save over a different file, because like I said, this might not work out. But if I can still... So now it's nighttime at FH. Um, 
Oops. Yes, over right. So it's nighttime, and it's the whole time for the concert thing. But if I can still talk to Master Fisherman and the kid at the train station, then I will be more than happy for this to be an actual episode. Otherwise, it will be a waste of 20 minutes. Shh, here he comes. Okay, he's all yours. What the heck, Renault? What are you wearing? What's going on? Nice pixelated legs, by the way. So, what's up? <laughs> tired. You look so down. Just tired. Come on, Squall, how old are you? You're still a teenager. Why don't you act like one for a change? Just tired. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go to the concert. What? Uh, I don't know. Why not? Yes, okay, let's go. Why fight it, right? Why fight it? Just give in. I'm too tired for this. Alright, so here's the concept. The question is, can I leave? Mm. Not looking good. See, I was expecting this to be the point I would be able to leave. Shit. Well, maybe after the concert I can leave. Let's talk to these chicks. What's up? Oh, they don't want to talk. Alright, Irvine, what's up? So, she convinced you, eh? Oh, what, what is this, bro talk? Looking good together. Alright. So, like, I found this place. It's perfect for you guys. <laughs> Give me a break. It's by the stage. You can't miss it. I left an old magazine there. You can thank me later. Have fun. Just let it all out tonight. Face palm. This guy's sick. <laughs> Are you finished? I might be there later with a special someone, too. Oh, he's gonna make his move. Alright, well, let's go. Come on, man. I'm just about to make my move. What's up? Oh, well. Sorry I ruined it, Kappa. Jeez, thanks a lot. Alright, well, let's go. To the concert we go. This is gonna be fun, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of stressed out with this recent promotion and being the whole leader thing. Not really my, not really my jig. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Squall, you big stud. This is all for you. Congratulations. Enjoy the show. Renoa, don't let him get away. Whatever. <laughs> Ready? A one, two. A one, two, three, four. Give me a break. Irvine starts with the tap. Zell in with the guitar. And anybody else? Ah, selfie and Quistus. There they go. And this, folks, is the Irish jig. That's pretty Irish jiggy, right? Look at Irvine, master of the tap. Gotta love it. So you can press square to change view here. Get a nice little view of the concert. Can I move around? Yeah, I can. Well, these guys put all this work into it for us. Isn't that beautiful? Well, anyway, you could sit here and listen to it as long as you want, but it will still play in the background, so let's go try to find the spot Irvine was talking about. The secret spot. Oh, he sent a magazine. Look at this. Here we go. This looks like the place he was talking about. Oh, a naughty magazine. <laughs> I thought he was kidding. Damn it, Irvine. You just stick a porno right there, man. Come on. <laughs> you wanted to talk about something, right? Shoot. What is it? Um, well, it's about your promotion. Things are going to get real tough for you, huh? Uh, Squall, I'm sure there'll be a lot of difficult things that you'll have to deal with from now on. We were talking about that and saying how you'll probably try to handle everything on your own. Probably. They know you too well. I do too. Although, I haven't been around you that long. You know, when you start thinking, you tend to frown like this. Are you making fun of me, bitch? <laughs> he went for the backhand. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm out of here. Oh, come on, I'm sorry. But really, we were saying that, well, you can't handle everything on your own. Dude! 
She just killed me. I'm dead. That's it. Game over. You just pushed me off of Fisherman's Horizon. Oh, no. We're just on the solar panels. All right. The missiles are on their way. Are you crazy? That's it. Just let out anything. Anything. We want you to talk to us a little more. That's all. Is this an intervention? You know, if there's anything you want to tell us or anything we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. I know it's not easy, but I wish you would just trust us and rely on us a little more. Facepalm. Am I that untrusting? Maybe I'm this way because I'm scared. Nothing lasts in this world. It feels great to have friends who believe in you and adults you can rely on. That's why it's so dangerous, especially if you become used to it. Someday you're bound to lose everything. Everything everyone around you will be gone. Then what are you left with? Nothing. Nobody. It's so miserable. And it's inevitable. It's so hard to be recovered from something like that. I never ever want to deal with that again. I can't. Even if it means being alone. The Lone Wolf Squall. For the rest of my life. See, that's a little intense, don't you think, buddy? What a night. Great music. Good looking guy. Not only is he good looking, he's the sweetest guy. A great listener. Right now he's seriously thinking about what I said. He's shy and doesn't say anything, but I know. Do you? You got me pinned, huh? So, what do you think? None of our business? I appreciate your concern, but... No buts! Just think about us. This might be the only time we'll all be together. So as long as we're together, we might as well enjoy each other's company and just talk, right? Just for now, huh? Forget it. I don't want any friends who won't be around tomorrow. Gosh, you're such a pessimist. There's no guarantees in the future. That's why today, the time we have now, is important. Squall, we want to help you as much as we can for as long as we can. We all love you. There, I said it. Please don't freak out. We just want to live, you know? Live through this time with you, together. Together? Keep it in the back of your mind. Call on us whenever you need to. We'll be waiting. Like I said, who knows what's going to happen in the future, but I have a feeling we'll be together for a while. So, what's on your mind? Do you have any dreams, Squall? Anything you want to do with your life? Eh, uh, that's something I'd rather not talk about. What about you? I don't know. I guess I'd rather not talk about the future either. But right now... I want to stay right here, just like this. If you say so. Look at him get down! Irvine, master of the step! Well, that was nice. <laughs> But now I can't sleep. Tossing. Turning. Squall's probably just having trouble thinking about friends and stuff. Oh, this sounds like the Laguna music. This isn't happening again, is it? Oh no, it's a flashback. Sis. Is this Squall's dream? I'm all alone. Oh yeah, that sounds like Squall. But I'm doing my best. So was Squall abandoned by his sis? This is assumably his sister? Maybe that's why he has such attachment issues now? His sister left him and he felt alone because he relied on her and maybe now he doesn't rely on anybody because he doesn't want to feel alone again. And he'll take himself. He'll take care of himself. He's a lone wolf. Maybe that explains it. Squall, Squall, please report to the bridge immediately. Nah. What is it now? Okay, well, um, I guess this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna go check if I can go back to Fisherman's Horizon right now, and if I cannot, then this episode will be completely null and void. But, let's try it. I'm going to not go to the bridge, I'm going to ignore orders, because I am the new headmaster. Not really, I'm just kind of the leader, so I'll do what I want. So I guess I'm going to head back to FH and I will keep you guys here because at this point it's looking pretty bleak anyway. But we'll see. We will see. Alright, to the elevator. We got to go to the second floor room. 
man, I forget how many loading screens there are. It, it must be such a pain to speedrun this game. Actually, probably not, because there's not really much to speedrun. Just like the battles would be the really hard part, but it would just be tedious. What the hell? Oh, I, th I thought it wasn't going to let me go here for a second. I was like, dude, no. Oh, what the heck? I didn't go back. Great. I have a feeling it's not going to let me go to FH, though. I have a feeling somebody's going to stop me. He's going to, like, say something to himself like, oh, I'm supposed to go to the bridge or something stupid. Something dumb like that. Right about here it's going to happen, right? Okay, now I can go outside. Is it going to let me go all the way to FH? Or am I going to stop here? Uh, okay, looks like it might be letting us go. Alright, this is looking good. Looking good. Okay, so we want to go back to FH. We want to see if the Master Fisherman is still up to talk to us at the inn. If he is, then we will continue with our quest as per normal. So it's going to be a bit of a walk, but you know, we can handle it. I didn't lose a seed rank. That's always good. I guess that's one of the only reasons you actually do want to level up in this game is because once you, um, you know, you can take seed tests based on your level, so it all really depends upon um, your level, how much money you're making. But then again, money's never really an issue in this game. You don't really buy that much at all. Okay, elevator, elevator, please. Okay. This is looking good. I think we might be alright. Okay, let's go. Okay, before I go to the... Well, actually... I don't know. I don't know if I should see if the train guy's there first or go to the inn. Hmm. Let's see if the train guy's there first. And by train guy, I mean the guy at the train station. The kid we were talking to before. Hey, there's a guy on top of that building over there. Alright, so to the train station. And by the guy, I mean that young man we were talking to before. Because if you remember, the lady we talked to in the cafeteria said she had a son who left for a year. And this guy said he left from Balaam a year ago, so, or for a year. So maybe this is the lady's son. Little does he know, his mother's right here and he can go talk to her now if he wants to. I've been around, you know, all over, looking for a dream. Yeah, we talked to him. We heard this already. Been through hell. And now he says something else. Something new. Wait a minute, I think I know this guy. Yeah, this is the cafeteria lady's son. <laughs> yep. Hey, doesn't your mother work at the cafeteria in Balham Garden? Yeah, how did you know that? I live in Balham Garden. The garden is here in FH, by the docks. Your mother was worried about you. You should go see her. The garden's here? I don't understand. But I'm gonna go see her. Thanks. And look at that. We reunited them. Alright, so we'll go check on him in the cafeteria later to see how, uh... See how him and his mom are getting along. So that part's done. Now all we have to do is go to the inn and see if the fisherman is there. You know, I guess if he's not, it's not the end of the world. We can continue on anyway, but I would really, really like for him to be here. So let's go see. Damn it. He's not here. He is gone. Fuck. Well, anyway, I guess that's that, but, um, hmm. Anyway, what's supposed to happen here is you're supposed to go talk to him after he tells you to meet him at the inn and before you talk to Selfie at the quad. And basically what he'll do is you can talk to him and he'll give you some, uh... He, he'll give you a little bit of a history lesson on FH. You know what, he might actually be here now that I th think about it. No, okay, he's not. I think we missed our opportunity. Um, actually, let's talk to the kid, see what he says. Wind feels good today. 
That's just the shopkeeper. Oh, yeah, by the way, now that we're at the shopkeeper, let's do this. So, we finally have all the weapons, or all the stuff for Squall's final weapon, the Lionheart. And you do not need the um, weapons monthly magazine that tells you how to make it in order to make it. You just have to know what you need, and you have to have it. So, here it is, the Lionheart, Squall's final weapon, named after him, because his last name's Leon Hart. One Adamantine, four Dragon Fangs, and 12 Pulse Ammo. It increases his strength from 60 to 76. So, let's do it. Booyah, and now we have Squall's final weapon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright, so with Squall's final weapon, he gains... Um, this is the only weapon that has the ability to use his fourth overdrive, which is after you do all the triggers, if you get it perfect, you know he has a chance of activating one of four overdrives. Um, with the last one, we had the Flame Saber, he had three limit breaks available rough divide faded circle and blasting zone now by equipping his ultimate weapon you get access to the final one which is called lionheart exactly the same name of the weapon so with that squall will now be able to do his most powerful limit break lionheart and he also has his most powerful weapon it's actually kind of broken because this weapon is so much stronger and lionheart is a really broken limit break so it's kinda nice Anyway, uh, let's head back here. I'm gonna save right here. And I think, okay, so I'm gonna head back to the garden. We're gonna talk, go to the cafeteria, see how the lady and her son are doing, and then I guess we will check on, uh, we will go to the bridge to talk to Sid, who was calling on us. Um, I guess we can overwrite this, it doesn't matter. And I think on the way there, I'm going to cut ahead, but on the way there, I'm going to check on Master Fisherman, see if he's even there still, or if maybe he wants to reschedule. I mean, I don't know. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back at Balm Garden in the cafeteria. Okay, guys, I guess I'll show you this. Uh, Master Fisherman is gone, but in his place is a full life draw point, which is definitely one of the best spells in the game. So, I guess it's good to come back here often if you want to. So, yeah, we did miss the Master Fisherman part of the side quest at least um also after he gives you the what he does is in the end he'll give you a history of fh and talk about it it's kind of nice i would have liked to hear it but you know if we missed it we missed it not really worth going back and re-recording a whole episode over um because it doesn't really there's really nothing to gain out of it he does give you a mega elixir which i guess is cool but it's not like the greatest thing ever so you know it's nice but um if we missed it, we missed it. So I guess we're going to head back to the garden now. I'll see you guys in the cafeteria. All right, guys, so we're here back at the cafeteria. Let's go check it out, see if a cafeteria lady and her son are talking. Oh, hey, is that him back there? So you're the one that found him. Thank you. I'm just so happy. Oh, what's up, guy? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you back there, man? No more hot dogs today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I go back there? I want to talk to the sun. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Yeah, that's great, but... Oh, here he comes. Hey, what's up, dude? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, there we go. I can get back here. So, hey, what's up, dude? Well, I've decided to help out here. Gotta look after Mama, you know? Oh, well, isn't that great? So, we talked to the kid. We've reunited Mom and Son, and I guess he's gonna stay here with us with Bomb Garden, so we've convinced him to stay. So, that's good. You know, that's a nice little side storyline there. It always makes me happy to reunite family, so that's good. Anyway, we are just about out of time here, guys, so what I'm gonna do is, you know what, actually, let's just do this. I don't care. We're at, like, I'm at 38 minutes audio recording. I don't know how much time we're actually at, probably around 30 minutes. But we're going to do this anyway. I was going to stop the episode. But we've got to see what's going on here at the bridge. There's just... I want to do this because this will be the... After this, this will be the perfect place to stop an episode because... Let's just say I'll have much more access to things. So let's go. Take a drink of the D-Pizzle. 
Ooh, baby. All right. Let's go see what Sid wants this time. Oh, City Poo, I'm back. Oh, yeah, I forgot this elevator thing's in here now. It's kind of weird. All right, let's go. Take me away to Sid's place. Ugh. Whoa, check this thing out. Greetings, Commander. Don't call me that. We thought you should have a title, so Quistin and I decided on Commander. Sorry to carry things out on our own, but Zoo and I assigned duties. I'll take care of all the supplies needed in the garden. And I'll help take care of the students with Dr. Katawaki. You can just focus on our destination and battle plans. And, uh, will you let Selfie rest a while? I think she's exhausted from the missile base mission. She could use some rest. How does that sound to you? Fine. Alright, I have some reports for you already. Hey, Squall. By the way, you know the FH technicians were fixing the garden, right? They just finished, meaning... The garden's ready to go anytime. Oh yeah, I'll be piloting the garden. FH technicians taught me everything about piloting this thing. Let me know when you want to go. Any suggestions on where we should go? Hey, why don't we go back to Balam? We don't know what's happened since we left. Besides, Balam may be their next target. It's a harbor town, just like FH. You're right. Squall, what do you think? Uh, sure, I guess. What does a sorceress really want? It doesn't seem something as simple as world domination. The ship that took Ellen, where do you think it is? I mean, who are all those people on that ship? That's what I'm saying, man. Are we ready to go? Uh, yeah, I guess. We're taking off. I'll direct you to our destination. Announce the departure. Roger. Well, it looks like Squall's handling this quite well, his new position. May I have your attention, please? This is the bridge. Oh, is it now? <clears throat> the garden will be leaving FH shortly. Please, please prepare for departure. I will now hand the mic over to our leader, Squall. <laughs> what? I, uh, I don't, that doesn't sound like a good idea. A speech? Forget it. Cut the mic. <laughs> no, are you making fun of me? <laughs> Cut the mic. That's so funny. Alright, so now we are going to make a party of three, not party of five. Let's just... We can't use selfie. We got to let her rest a bit. I don't know why they do that, why they cut her out here. But we'll use our lowest party members. Let's do Renoa and Irvine for now. And it looks like we do need to do some junction exchange. Well, no, we don't. It looks like they de-junctioned everybody except Squall, so junction exchanging is not going to do well. We're going to have to re-equip everything on our own. How lovely. Anyway, with that, the garden is now mobile and ready to leave FH. You know what that means. Yes, we actually get to control the garden and pilot it. Steer with the directional button, blah, blah, blah. But yes, check this out. We actually get to drive the garden. We get to drive a whole entire mobile base that houses <coughs> thousands of students. In what game did you think that would be one of the modes of transportation? A freaking garden that can fly. Anyway, we're going to pilot this garden, and I guess we could go back to Balam. It is an option. But there are so many places we can go now in the entire world that the world is really just our oyster now. So we can do side quests. We can go back to Balam. We can pretty much do anything we want. So I'm going to take time in between episodes to figure out what I want to do first. And I will see you guys next time where the real meat of the game begins. Peace out, everybody. Cut the mic.